Happy Wednesday morning, everybody. I am in Pensacola, Florida. I will say this and respond right here. The Panhandle of Florida has the best white sand. See this white sand? This, see the point of my finger? Follow the finger. This sand <laughs> is really nice. Much nicer than the East Coast Daytona. Daytona's got good sand, but it's kind of that brown color. I think this is, I find this softer, whiter. What do you say? All right. The Herminator is going to do a coffee with Kenny because I have something on my mind. And it, it's probably something you would never dream of. So, um, Corey LaJoy, good racer, good guy. I know his dad, Randy LaJoy. Uh, Randy LaJoy and myself, we race together. Well, his boy has become a character. Kind of like a Kenny Wallace. In other words, Corey's on S Stacking Pennies. He's got a show with NASCAR. Good looking kid, got a lot of hair, got a lot of fate, you know, good looking guy. Uh, so anyway, I like Corey. When he ran, I think he ran fourth in the Daytona 500, Corey did. But anyway, Corey uh, had Shane Van Gisbergen. This, this is the, the V8 driver that came over from Australia. Okay, let me back up a minute. As they say in the radio business, let me paint the picture for you. <laughs> So, Corey LaJoy is a good race car driver, but kind of like Kenny Wallace, he got a show called Stacking Pennies. And he has Shane Van Gisbergen, the V8 driver, the, the great driver, uh, man's of age, he's not like he's a child, but uh, Team Trackhouse brought him over from Australia. Now, the reason I had to tell you all this, now you might know all this, but you got to tell the backstory. So as Corey is interviewing Shane Van Gisbergen, uh, this was comical and so funny. Listen to this. Shane says, um, the movie Talladega Nights was really accurate. It might have exaggerated a little bit. He says, I come over here and all these NASCAR drivers got these big mansions. They just, they overdo it. They Everything's, look at me, I'm big. Look, look at my plane, look at my yacht, look at my... <laughs> it was so damn funny. It just hit everybody in the industry, right? So, you know, Talladega Nights was like an exaggeration. You know, the, the wealthy driver with the big, you know, you know, married with one kid, married with two kids, but living in a 22,000 square foot home. Now, these are real numbers. This is not exaggeration. Okay, the movie Talladega Nights might have exaggerated, but these, number, these numbers are not exaggeration. These, some of these drivers are living in like 16, 20,000 square foot homes, okay? Now, mind you, the home you're in right now, yes, you're either in a single wide mobile home or a double wide mobile home like I grew up in. So I, my first house was like a single bedroom apartment off Highway 21 in uh, St. Louis or a single bedroom apartment, double bedroom. And I grew up in a uh, single you know, trailer. Then I went onto a double wide. A lot of people know me from my double wide mobile home on Harris Road right there in Concord. And then I, then I, then I built my dream home and I lived in a 6,000 square foot home. And to be honest, we really just used the bottom of it. It, it, it kind of accidentally had a top and it had a nice two car garage. Herman, where the hell are you going with this? <laughs> so, so the story is this, why do we build homes too big? Why? You know, um, is there a rule? Is there a rule? Now, most of what I'm doing right now is comedy. So have fun with me. Respond here. Uh, you're making 35000 65000 a year, and you're pissed. You're so mad because you look at these cup drivers. Why the hell do they need a house that big? Well, I can answer that. Because they can. 
<laughs> Let me tell you something that I know for a fact, because I know these things. When you're making $6 million base salary, and we've already concluded somebody like, a lot of the, the, a lot of the drivers that got in before the salaries dipped. So, so remember, everybody was making six, nine million dollar base, and then all of a sudden coronavirus come in, everything died, and we heard all the rumors. All these young drivers, you know, the cup drivers, they're making two hundred and fifty thousand dollar base. That's all they're making, cheating death, and the baseball player makes twenty two million a year. I can look at me. I can hit a ball, and I make twenty-two million dollars a year. I'd be more pissed about that than I would be mad that a driver, cheating death, only makes six to nine million a year. So respond right here. But I don't want to hear it. Okay. I don't want to hear it. it. It's guy hits a ball. Now he's good at it. I get it. But so anyway. The subject at hand is this. Uh, you you probably live in a what, a 1,300 to 1,800 square foot home? Okay, my home right now that I live in is 2,600 square foot, all right? As Schrader would say, but you got a basement room, so that's over 5,000. Well, okay, I'll go with you. I've had some very ultra wealthy friends say they've had the mansions and they drive the people nuts. Because you have the mansion, you're married, you got the one or the two kids. You see the, the beautiful people, remember, uh, what was that singer? The beautiful people, the beautiful people, the beautiful people. Uh, what was that? Marilyn Manson, Marilyn Manson. The beautiful people tend to have one or two children because they want the perfect family and they want the big house. But the problem is, the comedy comes in is that, hell, I don't use half the rooms in my house. There's Mike, right there. So you just gotta listen. Hey, good morning, everybody. I don't know what we're talking about. Oh yeah, we're, so. we're, we're, we're talking about stacking pennies, people that have big homes. Oh, don't, don't get a big home, it's too much work. I got one of them. <laughs> so anyway, have an ultra wealthy NASCAR driver. <laughs> He said, Herman, he said, I rolled up to that house and I'm tired of those lights going out. Got a light out here and a light out here. And you know oh, who I'm talking about. That's a Mark Martin story. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, say it again. That's a Mark Martin story. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, all the drivers they share, they said, man, you know, so the drivers, and you know which drivers I'm talking about. I don't want to call them out. The big homes, I'm going to answer this right now for you all. The big homes are basically a trophy to themselves. In other words, look, I'm a NASCAR champion. I make the 10 to $15 million a year. What am I going to do? I'm going to buy the big home because that is my trophy to myself. I only got one or two kids, and the, the joke is I bought this damn home, and all, all we use is the, the kitchen, the living room, and the bedroom. So anyway, I want to thank Corey LaJoy, Stacking Pennies, Shane Van Gisbergen. It is a comedy because Shane come from Australia and he goes, Corey goes, well, what was the biggest surprise when you got over here? Shane get, goes, the biggest surprise was I realized how true Talladega Nights was. I thought it was an exaggeration. <laughs> These cup drivers do think they're somebody. What do you do? You built the 20,000 square foot home. Then years later you go, I'm gonna sell the home. <laughs> so it's just a comedy. Everybody should do what they want with their own money. But the moral of the story is this. Right now I'm gonna wrap it up. Shane Van Gisberg is saying, Teledega Nights is true. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Well, all right, everybody remember, subscribe right here. And uh, remember, we are in podcast form. Oh, by the way, how many square foot home do you have? I I'm saying, let's Google it. The average square footage home in America, I'm going to say is 1,500 square foot. Tell me if I'm wrong.
Respond right here. And I know, I know you live in a small home. I don't want to hear it. I don't even, I can't even live. I live in a tent. I get it. <laughs> but I love you, okay? So, um, is, was it a comedy? Respond right here. Is it funny? Uh, or is it, are you mad that those people make that money? All right, then respond right here. Are you mad that baseball players make $22 million a year and NASCAR Cup drivers cheating death only make $6 million a year? Respond right here. Are you mad about that? All right. Remember, we are in podcast form. iTunes and Spotify. 